Minnesota Jim Coles. Uh, first of all, like always, I want to thank you guys for coming out and uh, covering Penn State football. I want to give Michigan a bunch of credit. Obviously, a really good football team that we battled for four quarters. Um, I thought defensively, uh, we did enough to give us a chance to win the game. Um, really limited points and limited explosion plays, obviously, there until the end. Um, you know, from a special teams perspective, I thought we were aggressive, called the game in a way that we felt like we could give us a chance to win. Uh, one, one play, which led to some points, and then obviously one fake that, that did not. Um, on offense, we were able to move the ball, but obviously too many situations where we had to settle for uh, field goals uh, in the red zone. Uh, we got to find a way to score more touchdowns, obviously. And, uh, in 2021, you got to be able to score touchdowns. So uh, give Michigan a bunch of credit. Uh, we battled. Uh, that's a good football team, but we didn't find a way to win the game. Jim Coles and Mark Brennan. Coach, your offensive line uh, gave up a lot of pressures and hits on, on Sean, but they ran the ball pretty effectively, I thought, parts. How do you think they did against a ferocious defensive line? Yeah, we knew their defensive ends were going to be a problem. Uh, we had plans to chip them the most of the day. We had plans to screen them as much as we could. Uh, and then obviously, you know, staying with the run game and not going away from the run game. Um, I thought for the most part, we battled. Uh, but obviously, Sean got hit too many times. Uh, but those two defensive ends, you, know, you can make the argument, make it the best combination of two defensive ends. Mark Brennan and Neil Rudell. James, can you take us through the decision to go on fourth and two there late? And what did you think of your play call? I know that uh, uh, that Jahan was not in the game at the time. Was there any consideration to time out and get, get him in there? Yeah, um, we weren't going to be able to get him in there in that situation. Uh, but it was fourth down. You know, we're not going to punt in that situation. We're going to go try to win the game, be aggressive like we did all day long. Um, obviously, we've got to leave the ball on the field and give the guy a chance to make a play for it. Obviously, you know, that's not the time you want to lose Jahan Dotson, obviously, because you know, at that point in the game, you're thinking players, not plays. Trying to get the ball in your playmaker's hands. Um, obviously, that was that was a critical play in the game. Yeah, I think you guys know as well as I have, we have not been great in short yardage situations. So that was our going for it on more down. Um, you know, felt like we had the look that we wanted, um, you know, but it's, a, it's about details. You know, we threw the ball to the back hip. Jordan's not the type of guy that's going to be able to catch a, a, you know, a ball that's thrown behind him and still be able to outrun the defense. Um, we just got to clean it up. The margin of error is really small. Obviously, we're playing a bunch of really good teams, especially on this side of the conference. Um, I'd make the call again, uh, but obviously it wasn't successful. We were going to call the game today in an aggressive way to give us the best chance to win the game. We got, we got to find ways to execute. We got to do a better job coaching. Audrey Snyder, then Mike Gross. Yeah, um, we, we lost Mike Miranda. That's why he wasn't in there. Uh, came, you know, wasn't able to go back in the game. Um, I think at times you know, we did we did some pretty good things, but we weren't consistent enough. We got to be able to run the ball to take the pressure off of the passing game. Uh, and we got to be able to protect when everybody knows you're going to throw the ball, and we got to be able to run the ball when everybody in the stadium knows you're going to run the ball. Mike Gross and Rich Garcella. James, other than other than the fact that they have great defensive ends, uh, why do you think you were able to maybe pass block less effectively than you ran block this week when, when a lot of weeks it's been the other way around? Um, yeah, I don't I don't know if it's other than what you said. They they have two of the better defensive ends in the country. Um, we got to be able to run the ball more consistently so it takes the, the pressure off of the passing game. We got to move the pocket. We got to have enough things in, in the package to move the pocket to change the launch point up as well. All those things are really important. Rich Garcella and John Sauber. James, how significant, how disappointed were you when you couldn't convert the turnover into a touchdown? Yeah. Um, that red zone. We, we moved the ball down to the red zone, got a turnover in the red zone, got to be able to score touchdowns. I'm not, I'm not telling you anything you don't know. Um, but obviously, you know, you got to score touchdowns um, against a really good team. Um, you know, 
at home, you got you got to find a way to score touchdowns. So we got to do a better job of that. We need more work in the red zone, but also I think that also plays a part in running the football. We got to better run the ball. John Sauber, then Greg Pickle. James, you mentioned that fourth and two at the end and being about players, not plays. What made Cam Sullivan Brown the player in that situation, given that he really hasn't featured the offense? Yeah, I guess my point was that he asked about Jahan Dotson not being in there, so I was talking about Jahan Dotson. Think players now plays in those situations. That's what, that's what I was referring to. Greg Pickle and Corey Geiger. Coach, when you talk about margin of error and needing to make plays to win games, it's not this is one game, but in a season that's had a few games where those plays haven't been made. What can you point to, if anything, as maybe the reason why some of those plays just haven't been made this year? Yeah, you know, I, you know, I guess your point is a good one. You know, you talk about the losses by by a few points. Um, you know, we have we have played hard. But we haven't made enough big plays. You take Jahan Dotson out, we, we don't, we're not making enough big plays, explosive plays. We've done that really for a long time. Um, I, I think, you know, when you talk about the running game, I don't know if we've had very many explosive runs all year long. So, uh, you know, that's something we're going to have to look at hard. Um, but I think that that's the biggest issue. We just, we don't have enough explosiveness uh, besides Jahan Dotson in our offense. Two more, Corey Geiger, and then either Ryan or Andrew. I, I, I get it. Yeah, I get it. Um, but uh, I'm proud of those guys in the locker room. I'm proud of the coaching staff. Uh, we'll, we'll find a way to get a win next week. Coach, uh, we talked about the close play each game. How much did those close plays be the deciding point of all these games? How much did they eat into the rest? Well, obviously, the, the margin of error is small. You know, when you look at you look at our side of the conference, maybe one of the better sides of the conference in college football. Uh, you can pick out four to six plays each game, and uh, you know, for most teams and, and, and most people, that, that's going to determine your success. You find a way to make those six plays per game, especially the way we're playing on defense. Um, you got a chance to get wins against really good teams, and, and we have not made those six plays, four to six plays a game, consistently enough this season. Thank you, coach.